If you're new here, my name is Beth. It is so nice to have you here if you are new. And for everybody else, welcome back. I haven't done a haul in so long. I just thought, do you know what? It's coming up to Black Friday. It is the perfect time for us all to do a little bit of retail therapy, a bit of Christmas shopping. Using some of those outfits for winter, Christmas, all these little things. So I thought, perfect time to throw in a nice haul. It's kind of like a casual basic outfits haul. I've got three big parcels. I've got H&M, ASOS and Topshop. Uh, I've basically done a, a ton of clothes shopping at the beginning of the week and I thought my, my wardrobe just needs a little bit of a refresh. I think what it is, um, is with lockdown in the UK we got, we've gone into our second lockdown and so it's, uh, it's not as strict as the first one so schools are still open things like that and so I'm doing a lot of kind of walking and just being outside but I still want to like feel nice so I feel like I just wanted some like warmer everyday like bits so I've done some shopping yeah so they're basically very casual everyday kind of bits I'm gonna link everything in the links below I'm um, also um because this is gonna go out just before Black Friday kind of madness starts i'm also going to link below in the description some of my favorite places to shop on black friday and um give you a little heads up of some of the best places to shop and the best discounts to shop so all of that is in the description so if you are looking for some bargains make sure you have a little look in the description at my favorite kind of places to shop and the sales and the discounts I've run in and all that kind of information is all in the description for you as well as everything that's going to be shown here and will be linked to. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. I'm just going to open all these up now and then I'm also going to let you know how they feel once I pop them on and show you them on full length and I will tell you all about them on as well. So I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet because I get told I talk too much on these hauls. So I'm going to try and like whisper it as much, but obviously cover all the important information as well. For reference, I am a, like a size 8, I'd say like a big size 8, probably more like a 10 <laughs> after this year and all these lockdowns. Um, but no, I'm a big size 8 and I am a 5 foot 4. So just for reference on everything, that is my size. I'm going to put all the prices, everything like that in the description rather than telling you on here. So everything's down there go and have a little look but yeah let's get straight into the video and open up these parcels i have a huge big asos parcel that we will just rummage straight through so yeah this is the first thing i put out so this is from weekday i've not actually bought any stuff from weekday before so i thought i would try it out i wanted a really nice knitted hoodie just to wear like under coats with leggings um and i saw this i love the color on it it's like a really nice dark like a really dark gray charcoal -y color it's really soft it's got kind of like big boxy sleeves it's a big boxy shape and the hood is really nice as well it feels really soft it doesn't feel itchy got a size medium in that looks really nice so i'm just gonna wear this like with leggings maybe under like a little leather jacket or under a long coat but i didn't have anything that was knitted and i also didn't have anything in this dark gray color and i thought this will slot really well into my capsule wardrobe and go with pretty much everything else that is in there so let's try it on so this feels really nice on it feels like a really nice cozy like slouchy fit which i really really like about it the wool is really nice and soft it is not itchy at all it feels really comfy and like cozy like cute to wear i like the fit on it it just really lends itself to like layering over things or if you want to like tuck it under it tucks under really nice um what i do like is the hood the hood is like double like it's like double like thickness of like wool so it's really nice it's not like one of those like knitted hoodies where the hood just like hangs at the back it kind of like has real structure to it and um kind of sits up nice which i really like and the hood is super big and cozy and uh yeah it's really nice again another one that i think i can just wear I think I can just wear this all the time for like casual daytime outfits, under coats, like leather jacket, under a long coat, um, just really, really nice. Okay, and then next I picked up this jacket, which I thought would actually go with the hoodie. It's from the ASOS Solution range, and I don't have a grey kind of like coat, so I have a lot of like black, camel, and I thought I would really quite like a grey coat. Um, and this is a really good price as well. It actually feels really, really nice. It's like a wool 
kind of material really soft it's really nice and like heavy i was worried because it's quite it was quite a low price point that it might be quite cheap but this is actually so nice so it's like a belted kind of like wrap coat and i thought this would look really nice with my staple outfit of black hoodie and black leggings um or with that gray hoodie as well underneath would be so nice but i'm really impressed with that it's got like button up details on the sleeves it ties at the waist, it's got really nice pockets, it's lined, it feels like it's going to look really nice on. It's got like a like a double lapel collar, it's super soft, really impressed with that. Let's try that one on. Okay, this is the coat on. I actually really like this. It feels like really expensive. You could mistake it for real wool. It's so soft and so warm and feels like really like nice heavy like quality. Um, I feel like it looks like a really nice classic staple coat to have in your wardrobe and I actually don't have a grey coat in my wardrobe currently. I do think I want to keep hold of this one. I think it's just a really nice classic, classic coat to just have in. I like that it ties so you can kind of like dress it up a bit more dressy or just wear it really oversized and loose like I've got it now. But yeah, I think this one will go with a lot. I've just put it over the, um, the weekday official hoodie. I really like the two tones of the grey and the two different um, textures together. And yeah, big thumbs up for this. I think it's just a really nice, classic staple coat to have in your wardrobe. Right, and then I also, whoa, <laughs> I also picked up this little dress. It's actually Topshop, um, but I saw it on ASOS. I didn't actually see it on the Topshop website, so I don't know if it's sold out on there, whether I just didn't look at dresses. I thought this was such a nice little winter dress. I've not been wearing dresses. I've been just basically living in like hoodies, knits, sweatshirts, and leggings. And I wanted to pick up some dresses that I could just put with like tights and boots, like Doc Martens or something, like really casual, and maybe for like over Christmas and stuff. And I thought this is so pretty. I really like the colours on it. It's like a dark, like florally print, and it's got these gorgeous like ruffles on the front and on the sleeves, and it's like really flowy. And I thought because it's got the black in the print, it's going to look so cute with with a little dress. But the back is actually backless. Um, but I'm actually planning on wearing this because it's quite v-necked. Um, I was planning on actually wearing this with a black roll neck top underneath and make it like really wintry. So I'm not sure what it's going to look like that with that. But we'll try it on. I think it's going to look really cute with literally just tights and boots. It's really like ruffly. I got a size 10. It's also stretchy around the middle, so it's going to be really, really comfortable. So I thought that'd be really nice, actually, for even like a little Christmas day dress. Like belt, put a nice belt in the middle and um, just tight some boots. I thought that would look really cute. So yeah, let's try that on. So this is it on. It feels really cute, actually. It definitely feels like a real, like, winter kind of vibe dress. I've laid it over, like, a black, just thin, like, polo neck, like, jersey top. Um, but I have had to like push my sleeves up because obviously it finishes at three quarters. Um, but if you had like a sleeveless one that would work perfectly. Um, I really like it. I think it looks really nice. Like the colours are really like wintry. It's dead girly. The ruffles here. I like the floaty skirt. It's layered as well. So it doesn't feel like you're wearing like a summer dress. It feels like a proper winter dress. Um, and just this is how I'd wear it. Just tights and boots, little bag, leather jacket. And yeah, I like this one. So it's definitely one you could dress up or down, having your wardrobe for like night out, like drinks and stuff, but also just layer it up and wear it in the day too. So yeah, I love this one. Really cute for winter. And lastly, I picked up these. Now, I've already had these out to have a look at because this is what I was so excited to pick up. I've been thinking about getting these for a little while. They are the Spanx Leather Look Leggings, and I could never seem to find them in stock anywhere in a size small, but ASOS had them. I also had a code, which made them a little bit cheaper, but I am so excited to try these on. I've not tried them on yet. I thought I will save them and we'll try them on together. But basically, if you've not seen them, they've been getting really, really good reviews, and they're just a really good hold you in, flattering, leather look like faux leather legging so i'm excited to try these on they were expensive but i just thought you know what with something like this if they are good and they're good quality and they last they will just last so long you get so much wear out of them so yeah let's try them on see what they're like on so these are the leggings on i actually love these i'm really surprised by them i definitely think like they're really flattering for a leather look legging i feel like they kind of 
are really pulling like my legs in around because they're so high waisted and this is so like suck you in without being too tight it's just that really nice like spanx material yeah they're really nice they feel really comfortable to wear you want to invest in a pair that are going to last you a good few years and you're going to get your wear out of then yeah i would definitely recommend them they feel really good on i feel like they make my legs look nice and slim and they're just like really nice fitted all the way down like on both legs and they're nice and long so you'd even be able to wear these like on a night out they'd be really flattering just with like heels and something like on the top if you're kind of like a dressy top and like legging leather look leggings kind of girl i would definitely say invest if you're wanting a pair to wear just every day i think if you invest in them you will get the cost per wear from these they feel really good they feel really flattering they feel like i could wear them with something cropped um and still feel comfortable in them and i don't think I've, i could say that about another pair of leather look leggings i think i always feel a little bit like they're just not very flattering around the top um but these feel really really good so yeah big big thumbs up from me on these ones okay next let's do top shop a little top shop parcel here this is basically all all bottoms <laughs> i love top shop jeans i love top shop jeans i love top shop leather look leggings and I was like, do you know what? I've not bought any for ages and I'm really missing like skinny jeans. I threw all my skinny jeans away last year and I really regretted it. Well, like I sold them and stuff. So I like, don't really wear them anymore. Now I'm really back into skinny jeans and I've got nothing in my wardrobe. So I got these. These are the Jamie jeans. Oh, I think I've ordered these in the wrong size. I thought I was waist 28, but that's a size 10. We will see. I think they're going to be too big. I think the Jamie jeans are such a nice fit on a skinny jean and I thought, do you know what, I'd really quite like a nice just pair of black ones. They've got rip details in the knee, you can't see because it's so dark. The knee has like a rip in, like quite a big rip and on both knees and they're just a plain high-waisted skinny jean but I think they're going to be too big because I've ordered the wrong size. But we'll see. I'll try them on anyway because we can get a feel for them. But the quality feels really nice on them. The dark, like they're super, super black. So these are the Jamie jeans on. They feel so good. I forgot how good a fit Jamie jeans are. But I love the ripped knees on them. And this is an outfit that I'm really like just missing kind of wearing at the moment. Just like a ripped knee, all black kind of outfit. So yeah, big thumbs up from me on these. But I am going to send them back. Um, Jamie jeans I just love because they're so thick. They're dead flattering. They're really comfy. They always fit like a glove when they're the right size. Another favorite pair of jeans from Topshop for me are the Joni jeans, the Joni jeans. Um, but I don't actually have a pair that have the belt loops on. All the ones I've got don't have the belt loops and they recently started doing these, probably not that recently to be honest, but since I bought mine, they started doing the ones with the belt loops. So I wanted to get a pair of these and these are like a slightly like more washed out black, which I do really like. And again, they've got the rips in the knees. I just want to wear these with like, boots and like knitwear and t-shirts and just really really casual so i picked those up because i love the jolly jean they're super high-waisted they're really flattering they're just a really nice like stretchy kind of hold you in skinny jean so let's try these on and see what these look like so these are the journey jeans on i love the journey jeans because they are so like high-waisted they just feel really really comfortable to wear because they are a really nice stretchy material um these are actually the size 10 they actually don't feel too bad um the knees i like the ripped knees on them and i like the length they're like my jeans quite long um at the moment whereas before i always used to want them like very slightly cropped nice and flattering on the bum they feel like they really like suck you in and i like the color on them they're a bit more like of a washed washed black so they're nice too I think I'm going to send these back and get the size 8 just so they are that little bit more fitted because I feel like the material is kind of like coming loose here and I think with a skinny jean like that only gets worse as you wear them so yeah I'm going to swap them for my normal size I shouldn't have ordered the 10 I don't know why I ordered a size 10 then I did treat myself also to another pair of the Topshop leather look leggings because I've had mine I think I don't know if it's two years or three years. I feel like it might be three years I've had mine. And they're so good. And I wanted to pick up another pair. So I just picked up another pair. But in the regular length, mine are the petite length. And these are so good. They're such a good fit. They have like the side zip. So they're super flattering on the front. And the inside is like really, really like fleecy, soft. The quality and the material on them are just amazing. They look like real leather when they're on. And the details are just so, so good. So yeah, let's try these on. 
and I will show you these on. They really look like a real leather when they're on um, and the zip on the side just means that they fit really nice. So, but these are nice and stretchy. The quality on them feels really, really good. Um, they're really nice and thick. The seam on the front makes them look a lot more expensive and the length on them is really nice. I always find leather pants are not very flattering on the bottom, but these actually are, which is a bonus. So yeah, I'm happy with these. They feel really, really nice on. They're really comfortable and they look so good. So I'm really happy that I invested in a new pair and got the longer length. But yeah, these are definitely staying. And then I also had to pick up, they started doing them in like a croc print. The exact same like the leather look leggings, but these ones are in a croc print. And I was like, I need to try these too because I'm just living in leather leggings at the moment. And I thought as well, when lockdown kind of lifts a little bit, we're allowed to go out for like a little drink or a meal. These are going to make the nicest little outfit for over like Christmas and stuff. So I got them, they're exactly the same, but they've got this gorgeous, gorgeous croc prints to them, which I just loved. I thought these would be like a little bit more of a dressy version of the plain ones. So really happy with these. So these feel really, really good on. I feel like because they have this croc print to them, they look and feel more expensive. I feel like they look more dressy, although you could definitely dress this outfit down, literally just pop it with some trainers instead of the boots. Um, but I just thought, this is about as dressy as I get <laughs> at the moment. Putting on that everyday little boot that you can still wear all over the place just makes it, put, makes it that little bit more put together. I love them. They fit just the same as the other Topshop ones, but the, the croc definitely makes them look a little bit more stylish, a little bit more expensive. Um, I haven't got anything in my wardrobe like this, so they're definitely saying I love them. And I love them with my little H&M boots, which were the best buy of the season. Um, while I was looking at leather leggings, I thought I had to pick up these and try them. Just because I love Topshop leather pants. And I've never tried these before. But these are the cheaper version, like PU leggings from Topshop. So these are much, much thinner. But they feel really good. They feel really nice and soft inside. Really thick elasticated waistband and they're super super soft and I think they're going to look so good on so these were slightly cheaper they're more like a thick trouser legging and these are much more like a stretchy like leather look legging so let's try these on and I'll let you know what I think of these too and these are the leggings on so they feel really really good they're really soft they fit really really well um they fit really well they feel really snug on my legs without being too snug um, they just fit really, really nice. They're really nice and high-waisted. Um, I feel like they're quite flattering. Yeah, really happy with these. And for the price, they are fab. Okay, next we're getting into H&M. And you know I had to get another piece of knitwear. I think this year, H&M have absolutely smashed their whole knitwear range. And I've seen a lot of this kind of thing going on on H&M and on other people on Instagram and YouTube. And I loved this. I think this is such a nice little cable knit. It's so like slouchy on the arms. It's a really nice big boxy fit. And as always, I love the big roll neck. So I just put a video out last week as well. I don't know if you've seen it, but I'll link it in the description if not. It's basically like how to make your knitwear look more elevated and stylish. Um, and this is perfect for a lot of those little hacks like layering it over shirts and some long, side, long sleeve t-shirts and things like that. Or even a little skirt would look so cute. I always get a size larger knitwear and this I think is going to be perfect for winter, Christmas, all those kind of cosy days we're going to have. So let's try it on and see what it looks like on. So this feels really, really nice on. I'm really happy with it. It doesn't feel itchy. I've actually got it with a t-shirt um, underneath. So I have nothing underneath like from this way down and it's not itchy actually at all where I thought it would. I've just laid it over a t-shirt so I just think it always looks um, a little bit more put together, like layered over the top of something. I love the big oversized neck on it and the sleeves are really big. I would definitely say size up because I think if this was more fitted, it wouldn't kind of look right. I just think knitwear just always needs to be oversized, big and baggy. So yeah, I'm happy with this. And then I also got this, which is like a dress. And like I said before, with the Topshop one, I'm just wanting a few like wintry dresses um, to team over tights and to wear if we finally actually do get a, like a few like family days together or even on Christmas day, I'm just getting my like outfits planned ahead. And I thought this was so pretty. I had to order it and try it on. 
I just thought how lovely is this the material on it is like this gorgeous like crinkly material and then it's lined with a slip dress underneath and it, it's everything I love in a dress it's got big like lovely like puffed sleeves but then with like the little cuffs that bring it in I hate like big sleeves especially if I'm like cooking on Christmas Day and things um, it's got a lovely high neck which I absolutely loved and I thought this is just going to look insane like belted in either over some tights or just bare legs and I can't wait to try that on and for my figure they always look better like belted in with some like tights and boots so yeah I can't wait to try this on. I got a size medium in this just so I've got a bit of extra room to kind of like belt it up so let's try it on and see what it looks like I cannot wait to wear this. So this is the H&M dress on. I absolutely love this. This is 100% staying and potentially my Christmas day dress. I love it. I think the material on it looks so expensive. Like all the crease, the little pleats and the gathered sections. I love the high neck and I love that you can wear it like this, like really like floaty and feminine and girly or you can definitely like belt it up, even wear it with like Doc Martens. The only thing I would say is the slip that comes with it underneath I would wear my own different slip underneath because it has like a v-neck whereas I think if it was just higher it would just you wouldn't see any of your um, underwear so potentially I'll just snip that out and wear my own slip underneath um, or another one underneath that but apart from that I absolutely love it I love the high neck I think it's really flattering definitely keeping this one and potentially I'm gonna wear this Christmas day I think okay and then I got this as well I couldn't resist this I just thought, I'm just spending, obviously, like everyone is, spending so much time. The evenings are going dark really early. I'm spending so much time just snuggled up on the sofa with like hot chocolates, the fire on. And I just thought, this is so nice. So cosy. So lovely for a cosy little evening in. But also, it would look so cute just laid over like a long, long line t-shirt and leggings and trainers for like going on dog walks and getting cosy and just having our little like lockdown walks like everybody's having at the moment. So I couldn't resist it and it is actually so, so soft. I got a size large again in this one, but it's lovely. It's got the long sleeves. It's got the pocket detail at the front. Teddy coziness on both sides. It's gonna be really soft and cozy to wear. So yeah, let's try this one on too. It is so cozy. I really like this. It feels really casual and really cozy, but like it's going to be really warm to wear as well. I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this actually because it's one that I could wear out of the house. It'd probably look really cute as well, just like a leather jacket over the top and maybe some jeans. But also, it's something that you can just literally just snuggle up at night in. Um, and I think this would look really nice as well, just with like a little cap and like a camel coat over the top, just to give you that extra cozy snuggly vibes to it and then i also picked up these which are like a knitted jogger yeah they also did this in a matching hoodie but for me i just wanted the joggers so i could like mix and match with like a normal like cotton kind of hoodie or literally just do this and curl up on my sofa for the evening <laughs> but these are like knitted which i love i love a nice pair of knitted like joggers or leggings and i just thought these were so cozy i love the color as well like the mocha i thought it looked really nice just like layered up with things whether it's just like a big sweatshirt and then under a big coat i just thought the different textures are gonna look really nice together they have like a gathered cuff at the bottom which is really nice they've got a really nice thick like stretchy waistband and then they tie in the middle too um, so let's try them on and see what they're like on. This is how I would wear them, but can we just talk about the fit on these joggers? These are small and the fit on them is just really strange. I mean, I suppose you could roll them up. I would definitely need an extra small, but they're very funny. Like they're more fitted here than they are around the calf. So like quite big here. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure on these. I mean, I would wear them just around the house, um, just as like loungewear and comfy, but for actually going out, I'm not sure I would wear them. I just feel like they look a little bit, they're just a bit of a funny shape. I think if I had the extra small, they would be okay. Um, but yeah, I would just wear these more as loungewear around the house. I mean, now I have rolled up the bottoms, they do look a little bit better. And I think as a loungewear set, they would be quite cute, but um, just a bit of a funny shape for me. I'm not quite sure on these, I'm not sold on them. So there's a lot of like 
camely brown mocha tones going on at the moment and you know I'm all about having a capsule wardrobe that you can just mix and match up with everything um so I did get this and this is like if you saw my gorgeous white jumper that I've loved to death from H&M last year it it's the same fit as that so it's got the really nice round neck and then it's got these huge big like billowy like sleeves very slightly cropped but you know me I'm always like layering my jumpers over t-shirts and shirts or even over dresses so I thought that would be the perfect addition to my wardrobe again it, it feels like it could be a little bit itchy but I am gonna layer it over things so uh, let's try it on and see how it looks on so on it feels really nice if you did want to tuck it up rather than layering it over something it would look really cute like that as well it would look nice as well just teamed over a little dress but I like it the color is really nice on it it's slightly I wouldn't say like really itchy but slightly itchy on the sleeves so it might be one that you would want to wear with something layered underneath it's not itchy enough that I would want to send it back so I'm definitely going to keep this this is something that will just slot into my wardrobe and just go with so much it's like my other one um, that I do already have with these big balloon sleeves from H&M which I absolutely love it look, goes with so much yeah, I love this one, really, really nice. I also got these leggings from H&M because I've never tried H&M's leather look leggings and I want to just find like a whole casual wardrobe. So I thought I will test these as well as the Topshop ones um, and see what they come out like. But they were such a good price. I think they were like 20 pounds, which I thought was really good. And they're very similar to the Topshop ones. They've got the seam down the middle and they've got the stretchy elasticated waistband. The only difference is these don't have the zip on. So they're just like a pull up. But they've got the same kind of thing on the inside, like the fleece material. So I think they've got the potential to be just as good as the Topshop ones. And yeah, I think they look pretty good, to be honest. So let's give them a try and see what they look like on. So these are the H&M ones on. Um, the quality feels just as good as the Topshop ones. Like they really do look and feel like a, fur, like a leather. The waistband doesn't have the button. So this is stretchy. So... The only thing I would say about these is they feel like they would kind of need pulling up a little bit, like quite a lot, whereas the Topshop ones I feel don't as much because they're like a little bit more tight around the waist. Um, but I like the length on them. They're slightly, slightly more cropped than the Topshop ones and they kind of very, very slightly kick out on the ankle, which I like. I like these as well. For the price, these are amazing. Um, and I think... They fit well, I feel like the fit on them is flattering and yeah, just for an everyday like leather look legging that you're going to wear all the time but it's not like that thin one, these are that really nice like thick leather material so so we've come to the end of that video i hope you've really enjoyed it i hope it's giving you some ideas of some things you could add in to your capsule wardrobe to mix and match and just to give you those cozy vibes coming into autumn and winter um i'm absolutely over the moon with so many of these pieces if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i would love you to subscribe to my channel too and i'm also going to put on at the end some other videos you may like like my how to create a capsule basic wardrobe for autumn winter and how to style knit well let me know if you have enjoyed this video enjoy shopping those black friday bargains and i will see you very very soon